planting some sweet potatoes and these are my tips for sweet potatoes i've actually got them growing in between okra why is that because that works out pretty good because sweet potatoes grow low to the ground and okra grows really tall and then the leaves from the sweet potatoes and the vines from the sweet potatoes shields the ground and keeps the ground moist for the okra to thrive even more but these are going to be some tips I know very few people even know about because most of the people with these gardening channels on YouTube weren't gardeners until COVID. So they don't have the knowledge someone who's been gardening for 30 years has got like me. So here's how I plant sweet potatoes. I take my hole and I dig it way too deep. Then I put my sweet potato down in the hole so that the soil when I fill it in is going to come all the way up to the bottom of the top leaves and I'm in the let me see if I can get in place that's got some better lighting so there you can kind of see it down in the hole I'm going to fill the soil all the way up until it's at the bottom of the top of the leaves so when you plant sweet potatoes you plant them deep same way you do tomatoes and if the soil doesn't go that deep automatically see how it's like right up against the bottom of the top leaves that's how i do sweet potatoes because all your sweet potatoes are going to grow from the tubers that occur along that initial growth it is kind of hard to walk out here, to be honest with you. I'm going to go ahead and plant this one first because it'll be a little bit easier for you guys to see. So anyways, I put a hole to mark where I was going to put it at. There's a sweet potato laying next to it. I dig this hole way deeper than it needs to be. I basically just use this spade to go a little bit deeper each time. Of course I'm hitting the clay soil now the heavy clay that don't matter sweet potatoes don't mind heavy clay they actually would prefer a loose soil but they will grow in heavy clay too so now you can see when I put this down in here my top leaf is just barely off the ground then I just cover it back up and when I cover it up I move the soil so that it's literally all the way up to those top leaves. Can you see that? So I dropped my phone and the phone shut off. So that's just kind of the fun of recording YouTube videos. And I'm going, I basically do every single one of them that way. So what will happen is the sweet potato will send out new shoots along these nodes here. And that's what grows your sweet potatoes. They don't grow down in the roots that are already in the soil. It grows from the nodes that are on the stem. So if you've ever planted sweet potatoes and you didn't have a very big harvest, or maybe the sweet potatoes were small, that's probably why. And I'll post a couple of pictures of the sweet potatoes that I grew before I got cancer they are football sized now another thing about sweet potatoes you don't want to plant them outside until the overnight temperatures are about 60 degrees they like really warm sunny warm ground and if you plant them out before that you'll probably stunt their growth so right now it's about June 3rd. It's like 80 some degrees today. It's hot. I'm out here planting these sweet potatoes. Two more left to go. This one's a little bit shorter. I don't have to dig the hole as deep, but I'm going to anyways just because it's easier for me to dig the hole deep and then just not put as much soil in it <laughs> than what it is to do it the other way around or you don't dig it deep enough
what I'm doing, I'm breaking up the soil that's on the back side of that because I know it didn't really do that great. So we are in there now. Last one. I'm really sorry about these camera angles. It's hard for me to stay out here bent over planting sweet potatoes because the sun's behind me. That creates shade. But I think you get the idea, right? I'm just planting these all the way down until the top leaves are just touching the soil surface. That's the important part. Now we got some rain coming in a little bit later on. And uh, that will wash these in. And if not, I'll have to come out here tomorrow and uh, water them in. Anyways, as always, God bless you, God bless your families, God bless your homesteads. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to hit the like and subscribe. If you learned anything new, I'd really appreciate it if you'd like and subscribe. And uh, thanks for watching. As always, God bless you, God bless your families, God bless your homesteads.